what is the difference between late init and lazy initialization this is a very famous interview question so let us understand so if you are using late init keyword so you have to first of all remember always use where it is not possible to use here well and uh, that is obvious because whenever we are using well so we have to define a immutable object but because here it is late in it so that means we are going to define this object later so first before understanding this late in it you have to know the difference between declaration and initialization so suppose i am defining my object here and uh, one thing also to remember you cannot use primitive types because it is not supported with this late init keyword you have to either use these delegates class so you can just click it so this is a delegates class that you can use to define the same behavior as late init with these primitive types or you have to create your any data class suppose i am using this pairs class here so suppose a pair of intended so this is called as declaration and whenever i am using this variable suppose here I am using my object equals to because it is aware that means we can use this to change the value of this my object or we can say initialize it because here it is late in it. It is not initialized yet so let me initialize it one and one. So I just define a new object to this my object variable and uh, now I can use it anywhere. Suppose I am using print and I can use my object. So now this will work fine but if I am trying to access this my object before initializing it so here in this line i am only declaring my variable and i am using this to access my variable which is not yet initialized because initialization happens on this line so if i am doing this then i will get an exception that is called uninitialized property access exception that will be only possible if we are using late init keyword because this variable is not yet initialized and i hope you understood the difference between declaration and initialization so this late init is very simple we can use this to declare our variable that we know we don't have the value for this variable right now but in future we will have the value for this variable and we will initialize this variable at that point so for those kind of use cases you can use this late init you can also use this normal variable and you can define a dummy dummy value here suppose zero zero so now this line won't throw any exception because we know we are declaring it here and also initializing it here. So this line will not throw us uninitialized property access exception. But uh, what makes it different from lazy initialization? So let me explain here. So remember this, I can only use well with any lazy initialization. Because when you are using lazy, so initialization should be at that point when you are declaring your variable. Suppose lazy object and then i can also use equal to so this lazy block and and i can define my variable here it can be any data class pair object of one one or you can also use here integer if you want to use normal integer or any primitive types or any string so that is possible with lazy but uh, using normal primitive types with the late init keyword so that is not possible it will show you a compilation error so what is this lazy it will return as a lazy object of our pair class you can see you can hover over this lazy object and you will see lazy pair of integers so in your code whenever you are using lazy object dot value so you can access this pair class or if you don't want to use this dot value thing then you can directly use here by so now you can see this lazy object is directly a pair class object and now you can use it anywhere suppose i am using here lazy object but what is the use of this lazy function so whenever you are using this lazy initialization that means you are initializing your object here but it will not be created in the memory until you are using it anywhere inside your code let me explain you here suppose i am creating a non lazy object and i am directly defining it without using this lazy initialization so so pair of two, two, three, and uh, okay. Instead of doing it here, uh, let me move these to this on create. Then we will have a better logging here. So let me add a log message here. On create objects declared. 
so at this point i already know that i have declared this lazy object and this non lazy object but uh, after some point when i am using it so let me use a coroutine here just for the example let me add a delay of 5000 millisecond okay 3000 and then print lazy object so if you see the logs here first we are using this on create objects declared first we are printing this 2 3 which is our non lazy object and after 3 seconds we are printing this 1 1 which is our lazy object but uh, uh, that is obvious we are writing the code like this and that's why we are having these logs but what i want to explain is this lazy object will be initialized after 3 seconds even when i have declared these both variables at the same time but still this lazy object will be created in the memory after 3000 milliseconds so i have attached a logger here and here you can see inside of this my object is available which is this uh, global object which have the value 00, zero. and if i move to next line this non lazy object is initialized and having the value 23 and uh, after that you just notice this lazy object is not initialized yet in the memory you can just see the message here lazy value not initialized yet so after this we will print this log and we will start the coroutine here you can see this value will be printed and uh, when first time we are accessing this lazy object variable that time the, this value will be initialized in the memory so I hope this gives you a little clarity on what is this, what is the use of this lazy. And if you got the clarity, then you will be also clear this lazy and late init are completely different. Late init is a just a modifier for this where keyword that will help us initialize the value later. And this lazy is a function that will help us, that will help us save some performance because whenever you are using lazy, so you should do it when uh, there is some heavy object creation. You should not be using lazy with every object you are creating if there is any complex object creation or or in any situation where you should be saving memory and you need the object in the memory only when it is being used. So I hope this gives you a clarity on the difference between late in it and lazy. If yes then make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel and access the android interview playlist down in the description.